Hello, and welcome back to this Tales of Vesperia. Let's play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we, uh, we came, well, Breathe Vesperia got formed, the guild, Judith, Carol, Rapid, and Yuri confirmed. We came to Heliod, learned that there was some missing, so some fishy stuff going on with the peoples. We've un agreed to undertake the request from our friends that we previously saw at, uh, the harbour town, and Judith has concocted together this sexy outfit in order to uh, see past the guards. So that is what we're going to do today. So the sexy something. Oh, it's so hot out here. Hello there. Oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. There we go. Yeah, it's a Showing shame. some butt. Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh. I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong work ethic. I'm madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh, a little fun? Wink, which she doesn't. Yeah, but... But uh, there's someone back in the capital that uh, I promised to marry. Oh, interesting. No, oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh, um... Good work. Good work indeed. Can't we knocked out the night. Adults can be easily fooled like this. And how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But what was the fun thing you were talking about? Going for a swim. Indeed it was. All right, on to the next step. Huh? What? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Sonny should be. Oh, me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm? Obviously, Yuri is I the one to go I'll for it. To do it. But really, a knight of all things? I mean, it's from another, from another land. land. Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild! Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. The mage. Huh? Yuri? This is gonna be Rita. Parted with everyone. I mean, it's a solid look. But head to the Chevaliers. You got a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita? Of course. What is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll, I'll go call him right now! Shut up! Well, she hasn't changed much. Let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? So that means Rita's joining the, the clan, reunited with everyone. Seemingly. Hey, 
Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air crane. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already mm -hmm. pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. There we go. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. So they're going to go attack the guilds. They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's got to be Q Moore. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once at Kerbakrum. Oh. You mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? Seems like we are. That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages in Ospio come pick them up. Wait, we're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. And Rita's gonna be joining with us. Right, that is good. It's... You know, in knight's armor you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. Mm -hmm. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up. <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. It certainly does. Okay, we've got Rita back. He's got the high-powered yo-yo. And this all done. A tartan ribbon. Magic tunic. Oh, there's one here that is better. Holy cloak. So let's go ahead and get the holy cloak on you. Keep the paralysis ward for now. But I might go check out. Oh. Hide! Oh, might not get the chance. Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogor now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. Indeed. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. Take him down. So it's kind of a confirmation that it is, in fact, hey, an attack on the Union. The guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? 
Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. Rita appears. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how mm. sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air clinic. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You Trust stay me out too. of this! Oh, come on! We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Indeed, let's be happy about that. Right. I talked to this dude. Okay, let's head down. So seemingly, from here we can, if we simply just follow a path, we'll miss out on people. So we need to talk to people here. Used to work upstairs, so I was down here to come down here. Calling for labourers morning and night, no time to the rest. Interesting. Basically, if there's knights down here, we need to talk to them and fight them. Damn slacker, there's no time for rest. On Kamur's orders, the construction must be finished in a month. What are you doing? You better to disobey too. You know, I've never been good at taking orders. You'll be gone soon enough. Oh shit, I should have bought magic lenses. Can I go back? I mean, luckily, these things aren't providing too much, too much problems. Can I go back up and buy more magic lenses, just in case? Take them down. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Did you come to this town because you heard you could become nobility too? Yeah, I had the same thing. About that. Why don't we skip the small talk? Should you be an ABI? Shouldn't you be heading back up there? Can I tell my friends I'm okay? Thank you so much. You spared him from the truth. Now he's still gonna find out sooner or later. What are you talking about? We don't have time for long conversations right now. Whatever. Like I care anyway. I think you do care. I think you care more than you're willing to admit. Go cool, I'm gonna go back and uh, buy magic lenses. Because that is vital. Vital. We'll see if there's anything to to purchase for Rita that we didn't previously have. Still can't make anything that I can get anything new from, so fuck that. Alright, buy new weapons. New weapons are in. Boom. Already got a high powered yo yo, thank you. Already got the endless heart and all of that. Party driven, na na na. All of these, all good. All good. All of these all good. Okay. Then what I need to buy is magic lenses. Just give me all the magic lenses, please. Make sure I synthesize my way back to those. Uh uh. Uh How do I get those ones? Here we go. So we really want to be looking at whips. And stuff like these. And let's you've already got one rivet belt. We do have one we just need to we haven't learned it yet. Anubis. Maybe we get that for the next one. Uh, da, 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 books. Nice, no, this is way better. Okay, you can't get any of that. Um, I'm down for these. Strive to what you've already got. Pointed out what you got. Cat hair, heli circlet. One of these, we can't even buy them anyway. Okay. But... 
but gothic dress is one we can get. We'll buy a gothic dress, why not? Nice uh, equip. There we go. Right, I'm not going out there without the uh, the appropriate things. Take him down. Okay. Maybe because we haven't had them in a while, we'll bring Rita in to fight with us. Now. Okay, this is another person. My grandson died on the job. Holy shit. This is like a proper fucked up situation. There's a man by on the water. You know the punishment for running away? Hundred lashes, day and the night. You have nerves about your work, you beg for mercy, insolence. It's enough. Who the hell of you? You or anyone would resist the Kimura Brigade. Should bring you to justice. Would love to hear it, would love to see it. Nice. I'm sorry if I hurt you. And then this is our next. The Lancers are a missable type of fighter. Nice, there's one down. Nice. <laughs> Whole bunch of flashing colors. And we managed to get them into the thing, which is good. You saved my life. I think nothing of it. What kind of work were you doing here anyway? So up in the construction of a military base for the Tancast invasion. This town was supposed to be built for the men nobility. That's what they said. It's a front. They're already trying to build a massive facility. Tricking people and forcing them to work against their will. Under the pretense that they're going to be building a town for nobles. Or well, they're doing that on Kumar's orders, right? Right. So ha what happens when you let idiots are allowed to run wild? Come on, you aren't going to get away with this. Why don't you head back home? Really? Stay here if you want to. It's none of my business. We'll do something about Kamori, don't worry. Thank you so much. Let's go find Kamori. We've got a mission now. Well, that's how all the adult construction workers are at the site. Interesting. Right. Who's here? And a group of those red eyes. Hmm. Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work. No slacking off, you worms. Look, that's... It's Teagle! It certainly is Teagle. Certainly is, right. If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! <laughs> Who... Because mm, they have a relationship. What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. 
All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you! You'll be all right now. Jaeger! Get rid of them! Yeah, my lord. Jaeger, okay. And he's gonna have some cronies Nothing with him. Personal, you see? Just business. He's a weird German French hybrid. Okay. First things first. Titanias. Magic lands them. Then we're gonna quickly before anything else goes. Magic lands Jaeger as well. But swap to you. Nice, there he goes. My god, allow me to heal you dickheads. Come on, come on, let me fight. Fuck me. Okay, next one. I need a cell to heal me, really. Take the rest down in a second. Someone needs to heal me though. For sure. Okay, then. Uh, Rita, you're feeling alright. Uh, let's give me a life bottle. To Yuri. Uh, now we've only got one left. I'll blow you away. My God, I'm not doing all right. His, his crossbow gun thing is undeniably pretty cool. Okay, he managed to win at okay. least. How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. You should dry off first. Judith with the important things. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade! Flynn! Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! Interesting, we'll who are these? Next time. What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? Y yes Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Hmm. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah. I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. 
Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait. Gotta run, Flynn. Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... Too late. Too late. Sorry, mate. Carol's bug plot too. I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. Especially since we've been, uh, we've been feeding you this ch stuff for a while now. Uh, people are not good. That was hard. So we'll do these. I need some orange gels for the road. Heal these up. We'll actually just take us to these out for a while. Uh, and get them healed up, more importantly. Where's my where's my poison bottle? There it is. Oh, was that was that not it? Oh, what's what's a blue? Mind. Okay, uh, but we'll bring Rapid and Carol in for these two and we'll be this team for now as yeah, so we've got to try and make our ways I'm guessing towards somewhere else but we'll find some stuff there's a whole bunch of uh, skits for us to get oh my god there's so many of them you're gone here I go okay this is where Rita's really Rita's coming clutch here that's nice. Over. There was a lot of them, to be fair. Yeah, I and we learn magic. Good. Ah, still got so many to do with that one. Okay, so let's make our way. I want to before we get to uh, across the bridge. You'll be gone soon to trigger enough. the uh, skits that we want. So perhaps we'll do the old come back in when you're ready kind of deal. Nice. Everyone's learning stuff, which is good. Right, so are we going to get what we wanted? Is it going to be a cheeky little skit? Go on, cheeky little skit. Give me a cheeky little skit. So I think where we're actually heading, let's go. There's Jaeger's speech. That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> there you go. I mean, always, always practical. Is our girl, right. Let's fight a little bit through here. Hold still. I'll make this quick. We're done. We're now at the point where we're just smashing through people. Which is kind of nice. Right, give me give me your next skit. Go on. Where is the bridge here? Is it up here? Is there a bridge from these sections? Not that. Oh, there's one there. That comes out right to Camp Noel. But oh, it was blocked last time, was it not? Uh, I want to. I want to get the other, the other three. Let's eliminate them. Um, I want to get the other three, two, sorry, skits. So what we'll do is I will see you. That's over. When those have triggered, so we can I see them. I think that's the best idea. 
See if they appear now. They don't. Okay, I'm gonna go fight some other things, and I'll see you back when they're when they're here. Okay, one is here. What Flynn thinks. Flynn was asking for Estelle to come back with him, right? The knights can't help thinking that the best place for a princess is a castle. He's just worried that he won't be able to keep track of her. But Estelle decided to set out on this journey on her own, and you want to respect that. I haven't really thought about it all that much. The knights are bound to keep following you, though, as long as Estelle's with you. And what kind of a guild would we be if we didn't get into trouble with the knights? I don't think fighting with the knights is actually a guild requirement. I mean, it's close enough. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Okay, here's the next one. Scheming partners. Oh, those two scheming together. What? You mean Kumor and Jaeger? Yes. Maybe they saw that they had a lot in common with each other. A lot in common? Like being raving lunatics. Whatever the case, they made one hell of a combo. Looking at those two made me feel totally normal. Get a couple of nasty people together and they'll put together some nasty plans. We were right to let Flynn deal with it before things got really out of hand. Hmm. It's very curious. Right. Cross the bridge. Oh, when we get we get pranced upon. I won't lose. Oh, Take them all out. So I've got Judith actually carrying a gold an ore right now to learn some we stuff. Marvelously. So she's this not going to be doing any damage, <laughs> which is slightly annoying, but that's fine. Oh, as we come to a scene. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tolpikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Oh, here he is. Big huh? boy. What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. And we get Raven back in the party, which is interesting. The meaning of monsters. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> that sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder. It I seems there would true. be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I enjoy that. Uh, right, there should be another skit as well, but we'll find some things along the way. Get ready. I'm taking you down. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon! Destroy! 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 Destroy!
Nice. Rizal, don't cry a victory. Easy money. I'm not done yet. Finish that one. Nice, and we can deal those ones away. I've taught them on to everyone mainly because I think there's probably going to be some sort of weird dungeon where it's actually going to be quite handy for us to have them. But I want ores. But I don't want you to have any of the half damage, these bullshits. I don't want anywhere near anything in reality. So, cool. That's good to me. And then let's have a little quick look at Raven. Smash Bro, he's still learning. Mingush, he's learned it there. We can give him the Nightmare Helm. Mithril Guard, none of these are healthy. And Rabbit's Foot seems like it would work. But with your boy back, I think that does mean that we can go to Raven. What was it Raven needed to cook? Was it Vegetable Stir Fry? No. I'll have to relook into it, but let's try and get this other skit. Oh, come on. Man, could you be any weaker? That was awesome. Well, it's fairly easy of us to do all of these. We'll bring Raven in for a couple. Hunger is the best spice. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Uh. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Uh. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm telling me that I need to cook more. Uh, God, I've forgotten what the uh, what ones I was meant to be cooking for, what, what where. But uh, let me just quickly go double check those. Problem is, they're my previous arc thing. We're still missing out on a lot of stuff. Okay. Yes, yeah, vegetable stir fry is the one I need for him. Then Carol needs to cook the sushi, but he can't because we haven't got the stuff for that. Okay. Then Judith is stuff. Oh, oh wait, it's is it meat stew? I'm meant to be cooking with Raven. Ah. No, he. Nice. No, actually, we can do beef bowl. That's one of the ones we need to do. So let's just do that to make sure we're eating. But we still need to trigger this final skit. Leave it to me. I mean, we're smashing through. Absolutely smashing through. Beef bowl. So we're waiting until we get pork stew from these guys. But come on, give me my skit, please. Come on. Do I have to wait until I get closer somehow? Before it locks on? Do I have to be like here? So I don't want to go on until I get it. So I think this would be a missable one. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. You're gone. You're gone. All right, who's next? Take him all down. Sorry. Uppercut done. There we go. Grow up, grown up kids. These aren't the ones hey, I wanted. Do you mind if I have a gel? Carol, I don't really think you should eat those unless you need them. But I can't stop thinking about how good they taste. Or the smooshy way they feel between my teeth. I noticed mm -hmm. we've had fewer gels lately. You've been snacking on them, haven't you? 
I want them so badly I can't sleep. And here you've been eating them while we weren't looking? I haven't been doing anything like that. Wait, Rita, you were losing sleep over gels? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not snacks, you know. They might be small, but they're pretty expensive. I can't say mm. I like their taste or texture very much. Perhaps they're not too pleasing to a princess's palate. No, that's not it. I don't think they're that good either. I'm addicted to their simple taste. You just don't get it. Gels were made sweet and soft, so they'd appeal to children after all. Are you saying my sense of taste is childish? You What's are a child. That? You are both children. Yeah, everyone else is an adult. Okay. Maybe until we get this skit that I want. We have to I have to wait here. So I'll come back to you once we've got it. I think that might be the best key. Okay, it wasn't the one I wanted, but we get still a lot to learn. Synthesis artisans are amazing. They produce such lovely items in such a short time. Yes, it really is an art. The quality is always second to none, too. And the same artisan is always sneaking into the cities we visit just before we get there. What? what? Are really? you serious? Oh, yeah. I wish I had half the vitality he has. We're nothing mm. compared to how much he gets around. Yeah, Indeed. right, okay. There's no way he could do that. Really? Do you think it's more likely that the world's full of such skilled artisans? Y you too, Judith? Do you really believe that? And he must have great instincts, too. We should see about getting him to join Brave Vesperia. R really? C Carol, the next time we meet him, let's see if he'll join. Right, okay. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I think those two actually fell for all that. The princess and the kids still have a lot to learn. I hear they're actually using Blastia to do the synthesis. You know, maybe we got a little carried away. Maybe we did. Right, I'm gonna keep on going until we get this one that we want. Okay, we finally got it. That settles it. Our guild is off and running. What Took settles a while. what? Our guild's gonna be called Brave Vesperia. Estelle came up with it for us. Hmm. Brave Vesperia, huh? Don't tell me you actually got Estelle to become a member. No, no. It's just the three of us for now. I'm the boss, and then there's Yuri and Judith, too. What do you think? Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it's amazing. They actually let you be the boss. So mean. So very, very mean. Right. There we go. And we finally get the pork stew recipe, which we've been looking for, which we bring Judith in now. Uh, Judith cooked the, cook the pork stew if we get the kelp. That's our next goal. But that opens up a lot more for our, our guidelines. But let's head to the camp now. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you Pansy some tissues? Or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. We're not going to the end straight away. We're heading. Ooh, look at you. Operating the business coliseum there. Plenty of fish catches. Where to go by? We're actually heading to. Um, we want to speak to this lady with the east mark across the inn. So let's speak to them. How strange. What's the matter? The Shaglothan flowers only supposed to open during the rainy season, and yet they're already in full bloom. Sounds pretty weird. I wonder if someone's been coming here and watering them, watering the ground or something. You would, just, you would, would just that be enough to make these bloom? Now the case of flowers being early could be an imbalance with the air. So you're saying this is the place? Air imbalance can occasionally found in nature. Plants are simply more sensitive to changes in the surrounding air than humans, and they're reacting to that. We wouldn't have want to help. What, uh, we wouldn't want to have what happened in hell or happened here. Hmm. Judith, this what the Judy? The words by Harry Blaster is Dragon Freak would do this again. I'm gonna go see Rita. Dragon Freak, huh? What's all this commotion about? It wasn't you. I plead the fifth. There's nothing left for me to fix. I'm sorry for your loss. Stupid dragon freak. There we go. I'm guessing this is gonna happen. Scary. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... Not causing any you any trouble, is it? I already told you. Not doing anything that would cause any of you harm. The 
There's something about the Blastia which feels like we should uh, be somewhat worried about. One might get the feeling. Welcome to the only store in Torin. Uh, that's fine. Let's first and foremost update all of these. Uh, let's get some more magic lenses just to make sure we're always getting them if need be. None of these we need because we've already learnt everything from these respective things. But beef, onion, rice, dried seaweed for the turn. Is there nothing else we can buy from here? No. Gosh darn you all. That's fine. Would have liked some more things. I would have, would have liked some more things, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's head to the inn and see what old stubborn boy has got to say. Certainly would like to stay. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this Pharaoh by going to the Sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. Rita's a realist. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. Raven knows more than he's sleeping on. In particular about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. Are you coming with? What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah! We'll all meet down at the harbor then. Raven and the title Old Spy. Parted with everyone. First things we do is head... Uh, what do we have to do? Is... This should be a life bottle somewhere, but it might be one that we've already got. Probably is, but this is probably a good place to say. If you've enjoyed this.
please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll uh, continue this wonderful adventure together. See you guys then.